So on behalf of the Foundation's Women's Council, I welcome you today and thank you for being here. This is a wonderful occasion to salute our leaders, uh, all impacting their community in different ways. Um, now I'd like to um, start with introducing our honorees. Uh, three women who've been chosen as this year's honorees. Thank you for this kind and tribute. When Wendy Lawson called to give me the news of this honor, my response was, really? <laughs> Why? And Wendy, who's never caught off guard, listed a few projects that I have been involved in. She is right. I have done a lot, but what she didn't realize is that these projects have been accomplished by others. I just happen to be in the middle. Throughout my working career, I've had the fortune to be surrounded by so many talented and creative and caring people. That includes many of you in this audience. You are the ones who should be receiving this honor. True story for sure. Thank you, Chris. I, um, I don't even know what to say after um, some, you know, this has been a fascinating experience for me. And I know that this is a God-given talent. I am blessed to have had the experiences to really be able to do the work that I love. And I just thank the Women's Foundation for honoring me. And as one of my colleagues said, you know, Faye, we do this work, and we never know we're going to be honored. We know we're never going to get the recognition. So this is for all my colleagues with social workers. It's an honor for me to be recognized with both Faye and Judith. It's also a blessing for me to work with Girls Group and to make a lasting difference in the lives of the young women who we serve. So between the information and the hope, along with love, dedication, belief, and determination, we have been successfully changing and improving lives of the young women we work with and for the generations and generations who they inspire. Thank you. Um, I am very honored to uh, present our speaker this year, which is Dr. Rose Belanca. Thank you so much. And um, as Judith Hummel said, I, I don't do it alone. I was very fortunate to come to a college that already was way beyond what anyone expected a community college could do. So it wasn't too difficult for me to continue moving forward. And I really appreciate the opportunity. I'm really humbled to be up here today to share the stage with so many great women. My story really um, had three different crossroads. I would say that, and I named them. One was look beyond your limits because we all know as Jasmine said, that limitations are man-made and possibilities are based on faith. And uh, so that was one of the crossroads. And another crossroad was the book. You've heard the book, Do What You Love and the Money Will Follow. Well, the money didn't follow me, but the degree did. So <laughs> that was good. And the third one is dance like no one's watching, but realize someone always is. <laughs> so. My destination was really never to be a college president. It was to be a teacher. And in my heart, I hope I am still that teacher. It's been a wonderful journey. And it's true, a community college. We do so much, um, so, so, so much for students. And it's people like you that can make such a difference.